Hi there, Prairie Plant Girl here. Today I am uh, making a delicious recipe for uh, marinated peppers. Uh, as many of you who follow my channel know, I've had a, just a fantastic year of growing peppers this year. And so that's left me looking for lots of wonderful ways to use them and enjoy them um, now that the harvest is done and uh, I have many peppers still left to uh, consume. So I was digging around and I found this great recipe for marinated mini peppers and I'm really excited to try it. It's uh, from Natasha's Kitchen so I'll leave a link in the uh, description down below. Go and check out uh, her site and her recipe and I'm sure you won't be disappointed. This recipe uses up lots of these little mini peppers that I have, uh, so it's a great way to use them and it'll be delicious and enjoyable as a side dish or even to add into a salad just to up that uh, delicious factor a little bit into a basic salad. So what I have here is um, lots of my little, my mini peppers, these are mini bell peppers and I have green, yellow, red, um, might be some brown ones, no, no brown ones in this today. Uh, and then I also just added in a few, uh, these are candy cane peppers, they're a sweet pepper, and they just are smaller ones, so I just threw them in. The red, red one is uh, obviously the more ripe one, and this one was still ripening, but you can eat them at any stage and I think they'll be wonderful like this. They have this great um, variegation. You can't see it as much in the, the ripe one but it'll be uh, wonderful just to have some little variation in size and shapes and that. And then I have some sweet lipstick peppers as well that are nice and ripe and nice sweet pepper that I thought would be good in here and just a little bit smaller in size. Um, and then I have a couple of um, Antoi Romanian peppers that were just starting to ripen up and have some nice beautiful color on them but they're again smaller in size so I thought they'd be a nice addition to this as well. This is a pretty basic recipe so I'm just going to um, oil and grill these peppers. These peppers have already been washed and dried really well and then I'm going to make a basic marinade using vinegar and water and sugar and salt, some uh, minced up garlic cloves. Uh, these are from my own garden and also from my own garden is some parsley and dill and I actually threw a bit of oregano in here. It didn't call for that but I thought it would be a nice addition. Just a little bit of oregano. I don't want it to overpower the rest of the recipe. Um, so this is what you start with. So you're just going to grill these peppers and uh, then we'll make the marinade. Put a little bit of the, the herbs in the jars and then add the peppers in real tight and then the rest of the herbs pour the marinade over. This recipe calls for using a half gallon jar and I don't have a half gallon jar and so hopefully I've done my math right um, and I have uh, this which I think is a one liter canning jar here and I'm just using one of these nice plastic lids because these are just going to be stored in the refrigerator so they don't need the this two-piece snap lid. I love these uh, these plastic lids for things that are just going to be in the refrigerator. Um, I'll put a link down below if I can find one for you because they are a great thing um, when you're fermenting or just when you're storing your your canned goods in the refrigerator. They don't go rusty. They're easy to get on and off. A great solution for that. And then I believe these are each half a liter. Um, they're just left over from some pasta sauce that we had purchased. Um, and so I'm just going to try and divide this among these three jars. And I think, uh, hopefully if I've done my math right, that should add up to that uh, half gallon that I need um, of storage space. So the first step is just to oil up these peppers and get them on the grill. sure what the easiest way to toss peppers in oil is, but give this a go. So we're just trying to get them nicely oiled so they're not sticking to the grill to help them cook up nicely. So 
the colors. This is going to be so beautiful. Okay, so they look like the oil is nicely distributed over all the peppers, so I just need to go and set them on the grill. So the grill is preheated to about 300 degrees. We're just going to spread these out on the grill. These are smelling good already. So we're looking for some grill marks um, on the sides and then just kind of turn them all over. Try and get the other sides, you know, grilled a little bit too. So. Okay, these are sizzling away. Some of them have more grill marks than others, but they're looking pretty good. Starting to blister just a little bit. So I think I can start taking some of these off. Putting them back in my bowl. Oh, they smell so good already. And because I have a few that are a little bit larger and some that are smaller, I think the larger ones need a little bit more more time here, some of them, but they're looking pretty good. There's our peppers ready to go. Oh, they look so good. They smell so good. Okay, so now that I have the peppers all grilled, oh, they look so wonderful. So now I just need to mix up the marinade. So the marinade is one and a quarter cups of vinegar, one cup of cold water, six tablespoons of sugar, two tablespoons of salt, and then six cloves of crushed garlic. I'm just going to stir that. We're just going to stir that together until the sugar is all dissolved. Sugar's all dissolved now. It looks uh, a little bit cloudy, but that's just from the garlic juices. So now we need to fill our jars. So like I said, I didn't have the right size large jar. You could very easily use a large jar and it'd probably be nicer, but this is what I had. Um, and you're just supposed to, you're supposed to put half of the mixture into the bottom of the large jar and then the rest on top after everything else is in. But I'm just gonna go, I mixed this all together so I should have a good mixture of herbs here in each pinch.
Just try and distribute it through all the jars here. Okay, and then you just pack the jars with the peppers. So it says to pack them in tightly. Try and get a nice mix of color in here. Larger ones in this larger jar, maybe. Looks like I might only need the two jars. I think I will only need two jars, so we'll just dump the rest of this in. I might grill up a couple more to add into this jar here. Okay, so I popped a few more on the grill. I think I'm gonna dump these out if I can. So I can get some of this. The ones, the extras that I had were all mostly green, so it'd be nice to get some of that green mixed in with the oranges and yellows and reds. Yeah, that looks more colorful like that. Sorry, I don't know if you could see it. There we go. It's said to really pack them in, so I'm really pushing down, trying to kind of get the air out of the peppers a bit here and really smush them down into the jars. Those look gorgeous. Lots of nice colors. So then you're just supposed to put the rest of the herbs on and I won't have it totally half and half because I switched up my jar situation, but it'll be fine. Last step is just to pour the marinade over top. So we'll see how far this gets me if I can do both these jars or if I need to mix up a little more. I see a lot of garlic coming out, so I'm going to swap over to this jar. Oh, yeah, that's going to be perfect. Get all that garlic on there now. Oh, yeah. Okay, well that was perfect with those two jars, so this one must be a little bit more than the, the um, two cups that I thought. It must be closer to three cups, and then this is the one liter. Um, so the, the recipe did say that you could put like a small cup in your jar to hold the peppers down. Um, now they were using a much larger jar, so they can do that but the peppers seem pretty submerged in here, pretty packed in, I think because these are a small mouth jar, that neck there is gonna help to hold the peppers in. And uh, normally I wouldn't reuse these jars with lids like this, um, but for something like this, where it's just going in the refrigerator, it's just fine. So these are just gonna go sit in the refrigerator overnight. And um, after that, they're 
they've been nicely marinated and uh, you could use them at that point and they would hopefully have all the flavors mixed through them. Um, you could have them before, they just won't have the flavor mix. Uh, these should last in your refrigerator for quite a while with all the, uh, the vinegar and the salt and that in there as long as they're kept refrigerated. Um, I bet you could keep these for months in there like that. So you could serve these as a salad or like just on their own as a nice marinated salad or you could chop something into it with them. Or like I said, I would think they'd be nice uh, thrown into like a, a nice lettuce salad or something as well. Um, or just, you know, to pull a couple out and eat on the side. Like we're going to have some pizza tomorrow night, homemade pizza. And I think some of these even just on the side of that might be good. So... I know there's been a few of you that uh, have made comments that you don't grow hot peppers and I've done a lot of recipes on hot peppers. But uh, here's one for your sweet peppers if you are looking for something for that. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you try it. Let me know if you did. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.